my name is Jerry Garso. Hello, my name is Jan Skora. I'm 72 years young and uh, I'm with the Ambleside Men's Shed. We started by setting up a naturally occurring retirement community in this area with three buildings. It's all about socializing and getting together, uh, food, nutrition, physical activity, that sort of thing. And everything was going along fine, except we found that there were no men that were participating. And so we were trying to figure out how best to deal with that. And we heard about Men's Shed. Let's give this a try. You know, maybe we'll get two or three men, and that's better than none. Well, we've now got 35 and counting, and, and the numbers are going up. And the wealth of experience that you have in these men who are retired, basically often sitting at home and uh, not doing that much, but the wealth of experience. So we said, we've got to use that. My name is Don Louis Size, and my age is 67. Recently retired um, a year ago, and I was looking for um, additional activities to do. This gave me the opportunity uh, for some of the volunteers in uh, the Men's Shed program who are more experienced to offer help to novices like myself to learn. We see a lot of uh, social activities, but uh, those that are predominantly uh, with women that get involved. We discuss about for men have a harder time to socialize. I had a good example not long ago. We had a barbecue over here and a man was sitting by the tree over there and he was eating by himself. And if I didn't be a member of the sh member shed, I, w I wouldn't have get up and talk to him and I find that out he was a, a carpenter in the old days. And he, he is now a member of our group, you know. Older men uh, often are very independent, very autonomous, don't think they need anybody. And, uh, and yet, once you start uh, working with someone, once you start interacting with someone, you find that it increases the, uh, the amount of uh, enjoyment that you have and opens up all kinds of different opportunities. My, my experience in, in, with the men's shed so far is that I open up and ask help. <laughs> I'm not used to that. To ask her for help. You see, this is what the mention is for me. Jerry is a guy who is always available for everybody, but as he says, he doesn't ask for help himself very often. The men's shed has opened up uh, that, I think, eh? Yeah. You found that? Yeah. Yeah. But I think the payoff for us is, is going to be once we get together and start working on projects. So, for instance, I'm very interested in a fix it cafe. And there's uh, seven or eight uh, guys with lots of experience on fixing appliances, offering their services to the community uh, to fix uh, their broken appliances uh, for a small donation. Okay, well, my name is Richard Wormleyton and I'm 78. I'm very into uh, avoiding waste wherever possible and um, this is an obvious way of avoiding uh, throwing stuff in the landfill that we could actually repair and, and give another life to. My target is not only the old people. I don't like that word, old people. I just want men, period. I'd like to see this men's shed grow to the point where it's not just senior men that are involved, but men of all ages. Older men like ourselves, we have a lot of experience and some skills, and we'd like to pass those on. My name is Len Dower, and I'm 83. Uh, I've been involved with just about anything that's going ahead in this building, and the men should come along, and I got involved there just to see what it was about. One of my favorite things, I guess, is what it's working in the workshop, making different things. Everything I make is for nieces and nephews and friends. The men's shed is a, it's like a snowball. You know, start with small and it rolled and rolled and rolled. Well, I'm hopeful that over time, uh, there'll be very few men that won't join because uh, they'll see the value and they'll see that it's a lot of fun to do things with other men. Well, the advice I would give is just join. If you have any interest, join. And there's, there's lots of opportunities. I mean, it's not just 
repairing things, there are book clubs and different languages and uh, or the whole spectrum of interests. So it's, it's a question of getting to uh, expand the social group and uh, help where possible. I, th I think given some sort of meaning into retirement as opposed to just sitting on the couch and, and uh, eating bonbons, right? <laughs>